Hello everyone, my name is Park Hornowitz. Today we're going to be looking at how to check the line rank on the airplane before you go flying. And this is how much the airplane is pointing towards the outside of the circle when it's going in the larger circle. Now, this white pipe is a, ver is a vertical line. The blue tape is horizontal. Now if the airplane was pointed in towards you, it would be like this. If it's going away from you, it's like this. And now what happens when you're flying is the airplane will act like a, a, a plumb bob. There's a straight line between the handle, the lead-out guide, and the center of gravity of the airplane. Now what I've got on the airplane right now is a measure, um, it's a device that will measure an angle if you're doing any kind of construction. Now what I'm, it's saying that's 3.8 degrees so that so what it's basically saying is the airplane is pointing 3.8 degrees outward away from the from the circle. Okay now because because the line rake is based upon the center of gravity of the airplane the lead-out guide location. Because those two items determine your line rake, the CG, if you change the CG, it'll change the line rake. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it way back here, And it's hard to read on the video, but what it's saying is it's now 0.3 degrees. And you can see the fuselage is basically in line with the blue tape. Meaning that you're perfectly tangent with the circle. You're not pointing outwards and you're not pointing in inwards. If, if you got a strange gust, you might lose line tension very easily. Now I move the center of gravity back. Now let's move it forward. So now you can see you have more outward thrust. Now it's saying 7.5 degrees. Now the center of gravity is way forward. If I put it back on the center of gravity of the airplane, now it's saying 3.4 degrees, 3.5. I always try to start with like 2 degrees. So if you hang the airplane like like a plumb bob, you want it, you want the nose you want the nose to be closer to the ground and the tail to be higher. The more line rake you have, the more it's going to pull. So this is how I set up the this this rig here. I have the airplane hanging on a set of temporary leadouts or flying lines. I didn't I didn't change the leadouts. And then they go up through the line guide as if you were flying. And you want to go you don't have to go very far, but hang it from a point high up, high above the leadout guide so it can hang like a plumb bob. And it's just going to hang there. 